My name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today I'm going to tell you all about metabolic acidosis. Very less number of kidney failure patients are aware of what is exactly is metabolic acidosis. It is a condition in which the creatinine level start to rise at a very fast pace in a kidney failure patient. Usually in a kidney patient, we observe that the pace from level 1 to 3 is gradual and it can take years to reach level 3. But as soon as creatinine level touches level 4, we tend to see a sudden spike as the levels keep on increasing in a lesser time frame as compared to when an individual was between level 1 to 3. At levels where both speed as well as the extent of the damage caused to the kidney are much higher. The reason behind this is very simple. Because of entire process, the intensity of the acid in our blood become stronger, thereby causing harm to our kidneys. Because the body cannot get rid of acidic blood naturally in the form of urine, we are left with only one option which is neutralize this acidic blood in the body itself. For this, we use baking soda which is a popularly used in every household for cooking purposes as it acts as simple yet effective medicine for any kidney patient. So it is my advice to all my kidney failure patients to take sodium bicarbonate regularly as it helps to neutralize the acid in our blood effectively and because it is safe to consume. Usually no side effects or complications are seen in individuals regularly consuming them. So what you have to do if your creatinine level ranges from 1 to 4. Now let's move to the amount of sodium bicarbonate that has to be taken by a kidney failure patient. If your creatinine level ranges from 1 to 4, then consume a 500 milligram sodium bicarbonate tablet two, twice or thrice time in a day. On the other hand, if the creatinine level crosses 4, the dosage that is to be consumed would increase to 1 gram twice or thrice a day. This would balance out the pH level in our blood with reducing the rate of acid accumulation, thereby not letting the kidneys deteriorating at a faster pace. Now, there are some things which tends to increase the acid formation in the body. We need to take care of those eating and drinking habits. A few examples of this would be to not consume mango, oranges, vinegar, pickle or any kind of item which are citrus in nature as they already contain certain acid like lactic acid, acetic acid. These will work against the medication and not let it down the pH level of the individual. That's why everything acidic in nature is a strict no for a kidney failure patient. Now these sodium bicarbonate tablets are readily available at any general pharmacy. But if you are unable to find them, then one can also order it from the Amazon where it would be easily available. I hope the information I gave would help individuals suffering from kidney failure and to further reduce the effects of metabolic acidosis inside the body. With this, I would like to wind up the session and hope to give you some other useful insight in case of further queries, which you can share me in the comment section and I would be more than happy to help individuals to live a better and healthy life. Till then, take care of your health and I will see you in the next video.